the executive director of Civitas, which is a nonprofit organization uh, that has worked on the Upper East Side in East Harlem since 1981. So this is actually our 30th anniversary, so we're really glad that you all can be here uh, to help us celebrate our, our uh, big anniversary. And so uh, Civitas, if you're not familiar with us, uh, works on multiple types of projects on the Upper East Side in East Harlem. Our primary focus is land use and zoning, uh, streetscape quality, environmental quality, and transportation advocacy. And so today, I'm going to be discussing uh, the results of multiple citizen and organizational efforts of many people. Now, I wish Civitas had been, been at the helm of many of these things, but, uh, but we can only, uh, only do so much. So uh, what we'll be talking about is uh, multiple initiatives that have been underway in this neighborhood for really 150 years, going back to the origins of Central Park and uh, how that has uh, resulted in what we see today in, in the built environment and the landscape. And so, um, just look at my notes. I'm, I'm not a professional tour guide, so you'll just have to bear with me. I don't do this very often, but um, I actually just want to start out by recognizing, just talking about the fact that we do have so many great uh, groups working on the Upper East Side in East Harlem. We have a couple of representatives of groups today. We have Robert Destruction, Search and Care, uh, serving the elderly in the neighborhood. Uh, Virginia Pittman with Carnegie Hill Neighbors. Thank you very much. And uh, so, um, well, I think we'll uh, uh, go ahead and start talking about, I, I decided to start things at Central Park, which uh, um, many of you may know this, uh, many of you may not, of course was uh, just a, another part of Manhattan prior to the, the park um, uh, becoming constructed in the, the mid-19th century. So there were various settlements in, uh, in Central Park, uh, Seneca, Seneca Village most famously, who were actually displaced for the construction of Central Park. And so uh, the construction of Central Park is, of course, really what started to dictate um, uh, the, the development of Manhattan. And so uh, Fifth Avenue is always kind of an interesting place to see how the built environment has responded to the landscape. So, of course, Central Park does not really reflect what was, um, uh, you know, what was created uh, before uh, before um, this was settled by European um, European settlers. Of course, every square inch of uh, Central Park was very much designed by Olmsted, Calvert Box, and other designers. So, uh, so it's a quote unquote natural landscape, but was very much manipulated. And so, um, getting more into uh, Civitas projects and, and Civitas's work, I, um, I'll just point out, um, as mentioned, we're standing on Fifth Avenue, and so. Um, Every, every neighborhood in New York City is really, um, the, its scale is dictated by zoning, by land use. And so Fifth Avenue is no different. Uh, Fifth Avenue is part of a special district, a special zoning district, which uh, dictates the building heights on, on, uh, on Fifth Avenue. And so if you, um, with the leaves on the trees, you can't see it as well. And there's certainly some variations in Fifth Avenue, but you can really start to see kind of a um, uniform building height. Uh, which dates back to the 1970s and before World War I when these um, buildings were constructed. And so that, um, that scale is really reinforced now by city policies. And so uh, Fifth Avenue and Park Avenue, which we'll be walking to in just a minute, are uh, both part of um, the Park Improvement District, uh, which was a, a um, city policy that was um, approved, I think, in the 1970s or 1980s. And so uh, let me just look at my notes and we'll keep moving along. So anyway, the Park Improvement District uh, dictates that buildings on Fifth Avenue have a uniform street wall, so you don't see sort of the uh, irregular setbacks that you might see in other neighborhoods. And uh, it also uh, uh, regulates the building height at uh, no more than 210 feet. And that's an important figure that we'll talk about in a minute. So we're going to cross Fifth, uh, Fifth Avenue in just a minute. Um, to uh, discuss a couple of buildings on 96th Street. I have to confess, I didn't know the street fair was going on. So we'll see if we, we can, if you can hear me uh, uh, over there, and if not, we'll just skip that part and we'll we'll keep heading east. So uh, we'll watch for the light and uh, <laughs> keep moving ahead. So we're 